हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अतुल कुमार वैभव एमबीबीएस फ्रॉम एम्स पटना आई हैव सिक्योर्ड ऑल इंडिया रैंक ऑफ 694 इन नीट पी 2025 एग्जामिनेशन इन माय फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट एंड आई हैव आल्सो सिक्योर्ड आई एम आल्सो प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर आईएनआईसीटी नवंबर 2025 अटेम्प्ट एंड एज सम ऑफ यू माइट बी नोइंग दैट आई शेयर माय स्ट्रेटजी एंड माय जर्नी ऑन दिस YouTube चैनल सो लेट्स बिगिन दिस वीडियो सो फ्रेंड्स द थिंग इज दैट मेनी ऑफ यू माइट बी ओवरवेल्म्ड uh by the syllabus currently and there there must be a lot of things to complete in such a short duration of time plus there may be a lot of backlogs means too many backlogs to complete and the same thing is happening with me also in certain aspects and uh, are you unable to follow your schedule currently because uh, many a times what we happen we make the schedule but we are unable to follow it many of the times yeah most of the times this happens okay and are you uh, under a lot of anxiety because uh, especially when we have given a lot of examinations before then the anxiety creeps in that whether uh, and self doubt comes that whether we will be able to uh, perform well in the final exam or not so these things are natural so if any of these things are happening to you then you are not alone it is happening with many people many of these things are happening with me also so in this video i will be sharing an idea a plan that i will also follow and i think it will be quite beneficial for you too for those who are finding it impossible to follow any schedule for those who are finding it impossible to complete their syllabus and they are too much frustrated and in, and in anxiety and they are not uh, able to find a clear way forward so i think this plan or this idea might work for you and i will try to make it work for me also therefore i am giving this idea or this plan to you in this video and if you are a person for whom everything is going on track then also you can watch this video okay because it might give you some ideas to refine your preparation journey if you are following your schedule and it's working for you then you continue following your schedule and only take a few good things from this video so let's begin so the plan which i am going to give you is of this week that is from 14th of october to 21st of october that what to do in this one week as you all might be knowing that national marrow inict mock exam is uh, going to come tomorrow that is on 15th 10 am and it will be there live till 20th of october 2 pm okay so now <clears throat> what to do okay so first of all so the plan which i am going to give you is regard is will be based on this marrow inict national mock test okay so you must consider this as the final exam the main inict exam and you must prepare accordingly and this will definitely increase your efficiency and you will feel confident by the end of it so let's begin the video so which resources you must follow in this one week so follow whatever you have done already whichever thing you are uh, you have done already and in which you are most confident in okay those resources should only be used by you not any new resources because it will be a power packed revision plan which i am going to tell you so that thing whichever you have done should be short okay it should not be something very long and lengthy it should be something such that you can complete a particular subject in like 2 or 2 and a half hours okay it can be for example the btr videos or the btr notes whatever you want to follow i will be particularly following uh, btr videos as i am not too much fond of following notes i usually revise using videos only at 2x now or you can use the rr notes if you are having rr notes well annotated and you are used to it then you can use the rr notes also for this one week revision plan now now what is the plan the plan is to revise all the 19 subjects in 5 days time that is from tomorrow starting from tomorrow 15th of october till 19th of october and then on 20th of october you have to give the exam the test on 20th Uh, and you must start the test at 9 am so that it gets completed by 12 am that is the exact same time on uh, at which the main exam will be conducted so that you get the feel of it okay give the test in an exam like in what environment even you ask your parents or your brother or sister or what ask them to come in between for a few minutes and disturb you also and if there are any loud music playing around or if someone is um, shouting then do not go and stop them let that be because exam days can be unpredictable people might shout around you or some uh, cars may be honking around or uh, the invigilators will come in between for thumb print and what not so you must be prepared for it so give the marrow inict mock test in a completely in exam like environment now you might be thinking that is it possible is it possible to complete all the 19 subject revisions in these 5 days then i think it definitely is okay it definitely is if you give your best the condition is that you have to give your best so if you give your best if you will push your limits if you will study for 10 to 12 hours even push beyond then you can definitely complete it okay and trust me after this thing after this whole exercise for one week if you are able to complete it then you will feel much more confident okay very much confident about your preparation now think of it as final exam as i am telling think the mock test as the final exam that you are going to give therefore one round of complete revision should be completed in these 5 days so what will be my plan i will tell my plan you fall using the resources which i use you can use your resources as i have already told okay now what will it be so i will be using btr 2.0 videos so these 5 days not other videos not extra not compiled modules no test and discussion only the btr 2.0 videos i'll revise 
slash notes I've written because as I told I do not use notes often but I will of course use notes to brush through after I have gone through the videos I brush through the notes to look for the essential points so that they uh, get retained in my mind okay and I will be watching the videos on 2x as I have always done and I, as I always do now what will I do the day by schedule now day zero that is today on 14th I will start uh, from the evening I'll complete biochemistry I'll complete microbiology uh, and I'll complete I will not complete, I'll start because anatomy is quite boring for me. So I'll start anatomy and I will complete it over the days. I'll distribute it over the days. But I'll start this anat before going to sleep. Now, this is my plan for today. Then tomorrow, 15th of October, my plan will be to do integrated integrated systems. Which systems? CVS, Respi, Rheumat and Hemat. Okay. And then pediatrics. It is a short subject. I'll do. So as I told, every subject should take, you know, not more than two hours or two and a half hours. So let's consider it as 2.5 hours. So there are one, two, three, four subjects that give, makes it 10 hours. And then 2.5 of 2.5 hours of pediatrics, which will make it 12.5 hours. So if 12.5 hours, you are ready to give 12 hours then you can definitely complete you are going to definitely complete your one cycle of revision okay now next is day two so day two is 16th then that day i will do integrated system of gi neuro renal and endocrine and a general path video okay again five subjects i've chosen now next thing is that on day three so i will i will watch the videos on 2x and apart from watching the videos on 2x i will also miss at some places i might not watch the complete video okay i can only watch those parts of the videos which i find which i usually forget often so i will complement it with notes in a well balanced manner and that is what you should also do i would suggest now on the day three which is 17th 10 i will do general physio general pharma psm forensic anesthesia okay so these things i will do on day three general physio on day four that is 18th i will be doing radio ortho ent optha psyche okay day five on 19th that is the day before the examination i will be doing surgery i will be doing ops gynae and after that i will be going for a quick revision in three to four hours of the choti copy and i do not have my own choti copy i use the choti copy of ma'am only okay the ma there is a choti copy section in the btr app itself i use uh, those notes only to brush through the uh, topics very quickly in three to four hours i have done it before neat pg main exam also the one night before i went through the choti copy notes i brushed through the notes in like five to six hours it took but i brushed through the notes so, now coming to the main day, the 20th of October, the exam day, On uh, sit at 9 a.m., okay. give it in exam-like environment, do not go to washroom in between, okay, go for washroom before, but do not go for washroom in between, okay, now next is, uh, it will get over by 12 p.m. if you sit at 9 a.m., and then at 2 p.m. the results will come, so analyze the results properly the same day take the whole day for analyzing take six hours for analyzing this test because you will have to identify your, your weak areas and your weak subjects that's what you have to do next so if you do whatever i told if i am also able to do whatever whatever i have told then i am sure that the confidence will increase a lot we will feel a lot more confident in our preparation and if we are able to complete such an overwhelming task then we will definitely trust our own potential and this will finally help us a lot so now coming as i told the schedule will be from uh, 14th to 21st so what to do on 21st now from 21st onwards you have to start from your weak subjects which you have identified from the test which you have given so from the marrow ini mock test we have to identify our weak subjects and we have to start from those subjects and now we have to do selective re revision from 21st onwards using which resources using our past notes which we have made of the 2.0 or whatever resource you're using using that plus using i what i will be using i'm telling you i will be using extra edge for the weak subjects i will be watching the test and discussion videos i will be watching compiled modules for example your surgery is weak then you must watch bailey and love compiled module if your ops is weak uh, watch the data show one like that pediatrics is weak, weak then watch ghai wala hai na? like that you uh, start from your weak subjects and then go towards your strong subjects so this should be the approach after 21st so after 21st you will just have to fill the gaps in your preparation so how to know the level of your preparation that you have to know on 20th and for that you have to give your everything in this past one in this in this one week okay i know it is a big challenge and uh, sometimes when we are in uh, in this uh, especially at the end of the preparation we are in a lot of anxiety we are clueless we are directionless most of the time so hope this video gave you a direction to follow Hope you enjoyed the video and hope you will follow this schedule to your best and will ace the examination on 20th also and the final examinations as well. So for more such strategy videos, you can subscribe the channel. If you like the video, then you can share this video to your friends as well. Thanks for watching.